Ha, ah, thanks, Lord. Come and get your breakfast. Oh, I'm not bothering. Oh, come on. Since when have you been so concerned about whether I have my breakfast or not? It's a long time. I mean, you don't eat, you're going to eat skin and bone, aren't you? I am skin and bone. Sit you down. What's up with you? Do you want your bread buttering or something? <sighs> oh, Stan. <coughs> Serves me right. I thought you hadn't remembered. Of course I had. Ah, oh, Chuck. Happy birthday from your ever-loving husband, Stan. Well, you don't always. What? Remember. If I don't remember, it's because of pressure of business. Yeah. Yeah, I know, Chuck. I know you've got a lot to think about. I wasn't going to mention it, you know, I mean, with us having such a run of bad luck and that. I was going to give up birthdays. Don't be daft. You can't go on forever. Oh, uh, this game as well. Oh, hey, that's got a stamp on. Ah, oh, well, I didn't post mine. See, you, you can't trust the post these days, can you? Oh, bless them. Oh, ain't that lovely? With love and every good wish for a smashing birthday from Trevor, Polly, Damien and baby Jane. Oh, of course that's her, you know. She's a very nice girl. How uh, do you know it wasn't him? Oh, well, if Trevor had sent it, he wouldn't have put his own name first. He's got better manners, he'd have put hers. And he wrote Snobby's writing. Look, Chuck, isn't it lovely? Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, I say. Oh, aren't they good? Uh, yeah. Do you know what, Chuck? I think our luck's changing. And it's ever since we decided to change the numbers on that front door. Oh, we should have known, you know. I mean, me, with my perceptation. Living in number 13 and not bothering. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to get this fixed up legal. Now, it's post office and town hall for you this morning, Milado, right? Right. You just see. A new chapter's gonna get itself wrote in the history of the Ogdens. And not before time. Hey, uh, you all right, lad? I've got something on my mind. Yes, you haven't got your hat on, lad. And it can't be out else. <laughs> oh, full of comedians, aren't we? Our elder wants a number changing on our doors. So I've got to go to the post office and the town hall. I'm planning my campaign. Post office and town hall. Look no further. Alf runs both of them. Oh, ah, you know what goes on, don't you? Yeah, well, I know you don't have to go to the post office. What you have to do, you have to, go to make an application to the engineer's department, tell them what you want and why, and it goes before the Highways Committee. By gum, it's your lucky day. How from the Highways Committee and all. What have I ever done to you? Well, that could be the reason. <laughs> hey, Sheriff, you on the Highways Committee? Yeah, yeah, Stan, look, I promise that when your application comes through, I'll vote for you. Cross me out. Ah, great. Have a drink. There's nothing lost because I bought the ones I like. Oh, how lovely. Do you know, it's funny that. Stan was only saying this morning I was going to skin and bone. Happen these will fatten me up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and might I say, I don't believe all I hear about the younger end. You can show your elders up when you try. I mean, there's Elsie Tanner lived next door to me since the year dot. You could snuff it for all she cares. Do you know, she wouldn't lift a finger. She paid half towards them. Oh. Oh, well, uh, will you thank her on my behalf? <laughs> Must be improving in her old age. I'll tell her that. Oh, no, no, just just thank her. And thank you again. Pleasure. Hey, uh, did I see Stan out there when I let you in? Yeah. What's he doing? I've not to say. Oh, up to his tricks again, is he? Well, uh, if he's still there, will you tell him his dinner's nearly ready? Yeah. Smells good and all. Ah, so it should. Like a lamb. Like a lamb? Oh, only a little one. Well, I mean, it's like eating gold, isn't it? <laughs> Still, it is my birthday. Can't be miserable all your life, can you? Well, I'll tell him. Right, tell. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Elder! I'm in here! Elder! What do you want? Come here, I've got to show you. What? Come here! Well, what do you think? Well, what do I think, what? The door! Oh, Stan. 
swell they. Oh, aren't they smart? Where did you get them? Woolies. They had black ones, but I thought you'd rather have rust. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're very nice, then. Very nice indeed, Jim. Ah. <laughs> I'll give us your key. Yeah. Holding me other trousers. How many on yours? What, in my pinny pocket? Don't talk to aft. Back door open. With our luck, what do you think? Well, Stanley, it's another fine mess you've got me into. I've told you, send me other cakes. Oh, you. Oh, here, hang on. We used to keep one on top of the door. No, not now. Well, Luke. No, oh, that won't be there. You told me to move it when they broke in the rovers. It's under the plant pot in the front room. Oh, very handy. All right, trying to knock it down, are you? Oh, I'm thinking of knocking him down. He's got us locked out. Oh, well, it happens to the best of us, doesn't it? Here, tell you what, let me have a go with my key. Oh. You never know, you're locked. No, no good. Try yours. Same as yours. Try yours. No. Look, I tell you what, I'll see if Eddie's in pub. He'll get you in. He got me and Trisha in once. Ah, uh, he got me in once and all, and I knew nout about it. Not a bad idea, that, you know. About time somewhat useful come out of that fat lump. Which is more than you can expect from every fat lump. What are you doing, hypnotising it? I'm thinking, aren't I? Oh, don't you think we're in enough trouble? He's not in there, he's not in cabin. Ooh, he wouldn't be, would he? Where's Elsie? Round the back, trying to spot her way in. While the mad marvellier tries to mesmerise the door open. I've told you, I'm thinking. Thinking. Well, there's no doing round there. There's a lovely smell coming through the keyhole, but nobody's doing out much about it. Smell? Oh, me like a lamb. Oh, so help me, Stanley, I'll swing for it's you. It's not my fault. Now, where's that spare key? Under the plant pot. In the windowsill? Aye. Put your elbow through the glass. Hey. Go on, I'll put your head through in a minute. Oh. Go on, you daft aper. Mm -hmm. Mind, 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 mind. It's too far. Give me strength. Come out the way, you fathead. Go on. Oh. It's our house. Oh, I, I'll vouch for that. Ah, now, don't you just stand there. Do something. May I ask what you're trying to do, exactly? Look, there's a spare key under a plant pot inside there. We're locked out. You do surprise me. It's just across this side, if you can reach. Ah, oh, eh? Oh, well, madam, and if the opportunity arises, perhaps you'll put in a good word for the police. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> now, you stay where you are. If that leg of lamb's ruined, I'm liable to stuff the whole lot down your throat, bones and all. Oh, no! I can't stand violence. Says you wouldn't have minded, only legs of lamb don't grow on trees. Do you know what she wants to do, Stan? She wants to get herself a freezer and take you down to Willie Piggott's and have you cut up. Cos I reckon there's enough on you to last her two years. <laughs> Juicy and all. Get off. Well, we've all to make sacrifices. Where's the birthday girl, then? Well, she's got a headache. Do you wonder? Give her that with best wishes from an anonymous admirer. What anonymous admirer? <laughs> Me. Uh, don't open it now, you'll have Mrs. Walker jealous. Tell her to take it home and enjoy it in front of her own fireside. Uh, Thanks very much. And next time she comes in, tell Mrs. Ogden to have a drink on me. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'll just have a pint. And a pint for Mr. Ogden. I said bring to get back up. Why'd yeah. you change those numbers? Well, don't push your luck, Stam. She's got a leg of lamb like a lump of lead, a broken window and a blinding headache. And a fiver from our Trevor. Which it'll cost to pour in a pane of glass. Like she said, don't push your luck. Yeah. There's only one consolation, Stanley. Things can only get better. I won't bet on that. Who said you could change your number? You did. You said it was all right. I said I'd vote for you. I didn't say the others would. You know what you've done changing your number? You've offended against the Towns Improvement Clauses Act of 1847. He hasn't. He has. Hey, it's hanging job, that, at firing squad, one not it, too? Ah, well, anyway, he's liable for prosecution and a fine. You want to get them numbers changed back again before anybody notices? Life's not worth living, is it? I don't know, Stan. It is Hilda's birthday, isn't it? Yeah. And she has something to be thankful for. What? She's got you. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. And I'll tell you something else, Noel's done. Yeah. We're all thankful she's got you. <laughs>